Morning, y'all. Right, I want to talk today about custom fit. <laughs> There's a little biker laugh. Because anyone who watches my videos will know I've done the bits about shaft flex and things like that. And sometimes a small percentage of people in those videos get the wrong message. They think it's almost an anti-custom fit message, but actually I see those videos as an amazingly pro custom fit message. It's just trying to get you to understand what parts of the custom fit you should be thinking about. So I'm gonna try and show you today how much a custom fit can change things for you or not. Rather than deal that kind of tiny percent that everyone wants to latch on to, the idea that it's all about shaft flex. Let's show you some of the real differences that can be made when it comes to trying to change things with a golf club. You're back inside. But um, where's the lock for my bike? On my bike. Okay. So today's question, have you bought clubs that aren't custom fit? Have you had to take them back? Or has it made no difference? post in the comments down below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to the channel. Loads of good videos coming and ones back in the back catalogue. And remember to keep hitting that thumbs up button if you like the daily vlogs. Right, let's get the Torquay Golf Club. Show you how clubs can have a serious effect on delivery when we start getting away from the 2% that is shaft flex. Hello Dan. Hello. Talking custom fitting today. Yes. Okay, and I want to do some tests on you as the hitter. Back's a bit sore today. Yeah, my back was a bit sore <laughs> yesterday. That's, that's what <laughs> Too I've many drivers. you to, to hit. Um, I want to show them that custom fitting can have massive effects on ball flight when you separate your mind from thinking that it's all about shaft. Those shaft flex videos we did, there's a small percentage of people, comments that ripple through. Yeah. So a similar comment where it says, oh, why go, uh, what's the point of going custom fitting then? Or well, you've been telling us to go custom fitting for the last 10 years and now you're saying shaft flex makes no difference. Actually, I think those shaft flex videos are the most pro fitting videos I've ever done. Because they actually say, it's all about our feel. Yeah. So how are you meant to know unless you go and actually Correct. try and get fit? Yeah. But let's just show some massive changes that can happen with clubs. So we've turned the screen off. I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit. And I want you just to hit shots like you're on a golf course. So do not adjust, just try your hardest just to hit that club like it's a normal day, a normal club, okay? <laughs> no react to this. He spotted some dust. Okay, as long so as he's covering numbers now. Because I will react to numbers. Yeah. As you've seen. So just hit three or so shots with this club. Okay. With my new move, yeah? Whatever you want, as long as it's all the same. But I've changed the setting, not told you what I've done. Don't look at it too much, just hit it, no reactions. Yep. And then we'll look at what's going down. All right, we'll look at the numbers of these. Did you feel any difference in those? Um, more just my striking patterns, I think, more than anything else. I didn't feel, I don't know what you did with the second setting, but I felt the first couple of shots I hit with it, it I could play that club a little bit more, like a feel difference off the, f where the way the club is working maybe, but. Okay, so the top three here mm -hmm. are in the highest loft I could get on that club, which is what? If you look at the sleeve. So 11 and a half? Yeah, so that was an 11 and a half oh, loft, the first yeah. three club ones. Yeah. And you've gone two, three, five, two, three, three, and two, four, seven. Yeah. Okay. Spinning at three, four, and four. Yeah. Launching 12, nine, and nine. 12, nine, and 12, yeah. Sorry, 12, nine, and 12. 12 yeah. The next three, you were in the lowest setting. It was 7.5. So what's the difference in degrees there? Get up, Dan. Yeah, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, 11.5. 10 deg uh, four degrees Four degrees difference. difference. We see the spin drop considerably, two nines, which you're not, we got close with one high strike on the first three. So if you disable the top three, what's the average strike uh, spin with the low? The 249 carry. Yeah. Peak height. Peak height 28. Yeah. Uh, spinning at 3-3. Three, three. Okay, and then if one we... One just popping up there. Yeah. So 
three three at two four nine. Yeah. Ten yards shorter. Yeah. Eleven. Two, two three eight. Yeah. Peak height thirty six. Considered to be higher. Yeah. Uh, spinning at three nine, nearly four thousand revs. So I'm able to move your yardage by ten degrees. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, ten, ten yards. yards. Yeah. We're able to change your peak height considerably. Yeah. We do the shaft video and people say, what's the point in getting custom fit? That's loft. We've changed it massively. Yeah. That's before we even work into your conversations of the fact that if you are such difference in your peak height, how will that make you react on a golf course? Someone who already hits it low and wants mm -hmm. some height sometimes. Mm -hmm. See where I'm going? Yeah. So that's just a dry test not even referencing what it can do for you or not some holes the 7.5 degree loft you just are not going to be able to handle no even though you might run it out on other holes yeah so this is a huge reason why you should go and get custom fit because a pattern i also see that's a, a worry if you've got someone who hits the ball really high mm -hmm. what's the instinct with the loft on the club what do, what would they do and what would fitters do and what happens if they're hitting it too high then a fitter might de-loft it for them when i get someone come for a, a lesson which for me is a custom fit because they're the same thing if i can make their equipment better for them then why would as a coach i not do that and they're hitting it too high i want to know why they're delivering too much dynamic loft so are they adding loft by twisting it around the axis of the shaft Okay, abs mm -hmm. loft points it right, which then is going to make them lean the shaft back. Are they flicking the club just purely forwards? What is making that go up in the air? So for some students who hit it really high, I give them more loft and then ask them to hit it lower with it. Mm. Think about what that might do to say their wrist angles. If I've got this set in an 11 setting and I feel like it's going to go too high, I'm going to use my wrist in a way that takes the loft off. If they can't do that, I'll show them how to do that. The combination of their skill or not of moving their body with the adjustability that manufacturers give us with fitting is how you properly get better. That instinct just to move loft to their fault, even though it's a quick fix, isn't always the best answer because mm. it actually doesn't ask the real questions, yeah. which you've got to keep asking the custom fit. So people ask, if it's not about the shaft, which is sexy and everyone enjoys it, I get that. They do. Why get custom fit? Reason number one, understanding loft, how it works for you, how it doesn't work for you in different situations, yeah. is huge for improving people's delivery yeah. and golf. No, just try and hit. So we're doing iron idea now. So again, no screen. Try not to react. We're not really looking at the head, just hitting it. Let's show you what comes out with this kind of fitting idea. Feel any difference with those? Mm, not really, okay. to be honest with you. Let's show you. Right, so if you disable the last three. The so first three. look at the offline. Seven left. 13 left, 19 left. Okay, and then we've got the Average, next three, for averaging, averaging 13, 13 left. 7 left. Okay, so and that club is 4 degrees upright in its lie. Okay. If we flip it over to the next ones, averaging 1 Point, left. Yeah, 0.5 right, 2.9 right, and 7.8 left. Now for your slightly draw reaction as your bad shot. Yeah on a Cobra iron, which I don't know what they come out standard, but often in the, ga the bigger game improvement like that, they're a little upright, because again, they're adding a bit of left like in that there. Help, yeah. That's too flat, which I would argue, without doing a full fitting on you with that club, is probably spot on for where you should lie a club yeah. to get that delivering at zero. Yeah. So I'm able to move dispersion, deviation of nine, over 20 yards left and right, before you start adjusting, because that's a separate conversation, because people certainly like you would, you could play with the upright club, you just have to adjust, yeah. but you want to do what you do out on the golf course. Mm. So you don't want to be adjusting, you want to just be doing your action. Yeah. Over 20 yards with lie. Same shaft, 
could have put a graphite ladies for want of a better term for a shaft the lightest shaft i could find to the stiffest yeah we're going to move those numbers by well an unmeasurable amount with you you're going to just deliver yeah but i can move lie on the club by six degrees and i'm moving your ball flight by 20 yards mm. plus mm. people ask why they should get custom fit if we're saying shaft flex is so much about feel there's a bit of a pattern to this video isn't there there is this isn't complicated it's only complicated if you get lost in the shaft world it's a dirty messy generally boys only club that we need to start like just breaking down i think So some interesting movements there in Dan's performance left and right, high and low, just by changing basic ideas of loft and lie. That's before we even delve into length, which then in turn can affect lie as well as control. Shaft weights, head weights, grip, looks of heads, offset. When we make the video saying that shaft flex is very much to do with feel and how a player reacts rather than the blanket ideas of this one does that and that one does that. It's to try and educate you into the importance of custom fit. The few that uh, kind of comments that ripple through and it's a re reoccurring one which is why I like to make this video as like a follow up. It clearly shows that they're going to custom fits or thinking about going to custom fits with very much the wrong idea of what they can achieve. Shaft flex so not shaft overall, is gonna make very little difference to your performance apart from how you might react to that delivery of the feel of that club. Press comments down below, let me know if that makes sense. There's so many other aspects to custom fit, like I say, with weights and feels, looks, sizes, lengths, grip sizes, that can have massive effects as well, and none, depending on how the people feel when they pick those clubs up. But those two things there, just massive in trying to change people's delivery. Things that I use all the time as weapons against poor shots or poor deliveries that I'm trying to battle with or against as a coach day in, day out. And also the message that I've been trying to put out there for a long time now, which hopefully you're understanding, is that fitting and coaching is the same thing in my book. It should be the same thing, but often they're um, separated far too much. And the two worlds don't interact or share enough with each other people want to specialize in fittings and then they got no interest in how that person is delivering that club and for me that's a massive hole in the system press comments down below love to hear as always now you won't see me tomorrow friday's daily vlog or you might i'm not sure i'm playing tomorrow we're playing down in st melian it's an early start but it's a long day filming so often i don't get a chance to film plus edit plus post so if you don't see me tomorrow, it might be Saturday or it might be Monday, but tomorrow we are still making a vlog. It's gonna be a fun day, and we've got a new player for you to introduce. I have no idea how he's gonna go, but I've heard he's got issues with his chipping and putting, so it could be entertaining. See you all soon.